Welcome back to another vlog. Um, it is Saturday, the, I don't even know, the 12th September. It's been quite a while since I've vlogged before. Um, a lot ha has happened. If you've seen the video prior to this, I hope I'll get up um, about Max, who you would have seen in the intro or the start of this vlog. Um, that'll explain a lot more about what's been happening. Um, I still haven't been very well over the summer holidays because obviously I had summer holidays off for work, so I haven't actually been doing much. Um, I think I've probably napped and slept through most of the holidays. But um, yeah, we're back to work now. I'm back in the office um, three days a week. But I'm going to try and do a few more videos and use my uh, the rest of my days what sort of a bit more wisely getting things done. Um, now things are a bit more positive. So we've got Max. He, if you haven't seen the other video, quick short rundown. He is a Romanian rescue that we have adopted and he arrived on the 2nd of July, so it's been just over two months now um, that we've had him. Had a really rocky start, so he turned up extremely nervous, a lot more nervous than we expected, um, and there were a lot more issues um, that we thought that, that he came with that we just, just weren't sure that we could deal with, considering we had to go back to work and um, we knew we probably couldn't give him the time. However, um, a few weeks ago, he made a big turnaround. There's things like that we, he wouldn't go outside, um, he'd pee in, in the house, and um, yes, we couldn't take him for walks. We literally were in our own lockdown, so everyone else was going out and doing having meals for the um, eat out to help out scheme. We haven't done any of that because we've just had to stay in. We can't leave him because he has severe separation anxiety. Um, so we've literally just been confined to this house. But slowly, um, given time, he has really made a big change and we can now walk him. We've now taken him in the car, we've taken him over to mum's. Um, he's seen the other dogs, um, they get on. Um, there's a few little sort of sorts out who boss to begin with, but um, they're all right now. He goes outside, we can leave the door open because before, we, again, if you've seen the other video, we couldn't even leave the doors open because he would just bolt and I was so worried that he was gonna get out of the garden. But no, he's he's here now, um, and yeah, we're, and we're getting on better. The only thing left that we've really got to crack, um, Nathan is still working from home um, for the foreseeable at the moment, um, but then he is also being made redundant um, from mid-October time, so that's another thing we'll deal with. But um, is the separation and anxiety because when we leave him, he howls, uh, stresses himself out, and um, whines. It uh, isn't destructive at all, but just um, isn't a happy boy when we leave him. He's very attached to me. Um, although I've obviously been going back to the office, so Nathan's spending a lot more time with him. Um, but yeah. He's staring at me now. He knows we're talking about him. What you doing? Sounds good. You're frozen. Oh, don't get all nervous now. I've just said how much of a good boy you've been. <laughs> That's better. Oh, big yawns. See, so I'm getting very much, and I wag my tail all the time now. And I nearly do sit, and I do pork on it. Pork. 
Well, that's your, that's your nose. I want poor. Good boy. Good <laughs> boy. So that's what's been going on. As I said, there's um, I should have put a film up. A film. A film. I'm, I'm into making films now. Uh, a video now up that um, shows us before we got in uh, me going and buying stuff the first five days, um, and then I think I cry at the end of the first five days, and it all gets a bit too much. So we literally haven't filmed much, but I've inserted some of our phone snippets to see how he's gone along. Um, sort of over the last two months and yeah now he's really good the garden the garden this bit of the house is always I'm just borrowing your flip flops um it's always dark and light the garden is a mess so I can actually probably open this now oh, I never got around to um planting out my daisies so they've just done any chucking these I can still plant out they're okay uh, peppers are still going well this one in the back as well is turning red it's very exciting I've got a few on here scotch bonnets are doing well um, unfortunately I've neglected um, a lot of the garden as I said haven't been feeling too great so it has been on low on the priority list this grass just grows so quick um, this is Max this is Max um, but we have actually got something now to go in his water that hopefully should help that we've also got some patch stuff um, unfortunately we've had some colder weather so the tomatoes have had a bit of a hit unfortunately. Um, plus we've had really high winds um, so they're all falling down but we've had a great crop already so um, we'll get off what we can still there's still some coming through there's some big ones on here um, but yeah are you coming out? But this grass does need cutting everything's just a bit i need to get it ready for autumn i just haven't had the time um sunflowers have done really well this is my one my one one nathan snapped i know there's some poop around here so i'm trying to be careful um nathan snapped in the wind so his was really thick but then it just snapped but still lots of flowers this came down in the wind earlier. Um, but yeah. Uh, are you eating the chive? No. <laughs> Nathan's still doing what he does best. I'll try and just Play, playing cod. <laughs> we still haven't got Max a proper bed, he's still got the duvet, but he quite likes it because this it obviously gets a lot bigger bed. Don't you? Still doesn't play with toys even though we have them out. And then we fold this end up and he uses this bit as a pillow. And you find that? You quite like that, don't you, Max? On your bed. Sit. Good boy. <laughs> Flappy ears. All the vlog's gonna be now, isn't it? Just your little cute face. Yeah, yeah. I haven't even actually said what we're doing today. So we've actually got quite a busy weekend. We are. I'm going to trim Nathan's beard because we're actually going to see people today, which is a rare occasion. We haven't seen many people. Um, we are going over to Mum's first around just after lunch. We're gonna have lunch here. Um, then we're gonna go to Mum's. Then we are leaving Max with Mum. Which we have done a couple of times. We've gone to just gone to Tesco's, um, and he's just, he's wined with her as well. But it is getting better, so we're going to leave him. We're then going to go and see our friends. Um, I have games night and have pizza, and haven't seen them since. I actually can't remember. It must be either the start of the year, if not Christmas. I don't know if we've been. No, we might have been this. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, then we're going to stay at Mum's tonight and see how Max does overnight because eventually obviously if we go on holiday or away um, we would like to leave him there we didn't get to go camping over the summer um, that's one thing we didn't get to do so we had to cancel that but we have got that to use within the next year um, and I think he would be actually okay camping now um, we could definitely give it a good old go um, but he wasn't walking or anything 
um, sort of even a month ago. So, but then uh, he, well, he could, you know what I mean, go out for walks. He could walk, and then we are going. Yeah, going there, staying at Mum's, and then we've got um, a do for nanny uh, for nannies for Nathan's nanny yesterday. Uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna go back to bed. <laughs> no, not even to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's tomorrow. It's Saturday. Tomorrow, yeah. oh. Max is like, what are you talking about? Um, yeah, so we've got that on Sunday. So we're going to leave Max at my mum's again on Sunday. Because it is a half an hour trip to my mum's, so it's not the most practical. But it's the only thing we can work at the moment. Because we can't leave him on his own. Because you just miss us too much, don't you? See, I just miss you too much. Oh, you're going on your bed and sit. See, we don't think he really... I'm not sure if he does no bed and sit like when I did before because he just does it automatically anyway. He does no sit. He doesn't know. He doesn't know sit. Not on the home, Oh, my little face. That little face. Oh. Thank you, dear. Thank you. The other day I had my... Oh, this is not the best thing. I need to sort my... Oh, my mum's going to... I don't know if I dye my hair today or not. I sort of go in... Like this is all my grown out colour and then this is my natural colour. It needs washing it though. Um, and it needs a good cut. I haven't had a cut since the start of the year. And I haven't been back yet. Um, but it, when I have it down, there's like a, a line of where the colour is. So I might get mum to colour that today, depending on if um, shops have any offers on. But anyway, I had a delivery of my authentic house or um, subscription box which is um, a subscription box that's eco-friendly, vegan, cruelty-free, all that shebang, plastic-free. I get each month from Authentic House, which are these guys here. Um, and I also won a prize because I got the best photo, or won the photo prize on um, Instagram this month, which is actually the second time I've won it. I won it near my birthday last time, this month, this month, this year. Um, and I got this candle as my prize. So this is an Otter, the Otter Candle Company, pine and black currant, and it smells absolutely amazing. Oh, I think you have to it. it does smell amazing. Um, then I got the whipped body butter from Aphrodite. And this is like a thick whipped cream. It smells very orangey, or citrusy. Coconut oil, shea butter, sweet orange essential oil, that's what I can say, and bergamot oil. Um, so those two. I then got a smaller otter candle, which I think was in there anyway, which I might put this in the camping, camping stuff, because it's like in a just little thing like that, so that might be quite a nice one to take camping, like a travel, travel candle. Um, and this one is peony and pomegranate. We got botanical facial mask powder by Wildflower or no Myla's Mila's Apothecary, which is like this powder. And then what you do is you put a little bit of powder on your palm, put some water with it, and then it makes up the face mask. So that's a nice little thing. Um, then we got this like um, what did you say it was like, Nathan? Uh, Kinder egg. Um, so it's like a plastic free kinder egg. So it's dairy, nut, gluten and plastic free organic chocolate surprise toy. Play in chalk. So um, yeah, and inside I have opened it, but I've sort of resealed it because I need to take a photo of these things to put on my Instagram. As I've won the photo competition now, you know, I've got standards to keep up. Um, and inside you get two little chocolates, which look like they're in plastic, but they're not. These are in... Um, Wrapped in home compostable film. So we'll just put this in the compost. So we've got those two chocolates. And then you get this little toy, which you like build up and it makes a little rabbit. I think there's ones you can collect. So that's instead of a, so a plastic free toy. So I've got that. Shut the box. Then we got a, I don't know how to pronounce this, so. I'm not very good with my pronouncing out in signs. Soap bar by, the, by actual authentic house. That's their own stuff. 
it smells nice again. So we do use hand soap now everywhere. Um, we've got rid of all our liquid soaps. So what I'll do actually is because this is quite a big bar, I'd cut it in half. Then we got, um, these are vegan omega-3 gummies with vitamin E. Um, this is a refill bag because when you buy it off like Plastic Freedom, um, which is where I buy a lot of my stuff from, um, you get a tin um, and then you just refill them. And again, this isn't, this is um, a compostable, home compostable material. Um, that, yeah, just pops in your hub so it's not actually plastic, which is great. And then that is it. And then our last thing was this um, tea. So this is a Rose and Dragon Moonbeam Explorer Lavender and Lime Rubios. Oh, I'm, my pronunciation of stuff is absolutely rubbish. Um, and this is a little card that came with it to tell you how to um, brew it. So we'll go and do that in a minute after taking the photo. Naturally micronutrient rich, God they like putting these long words in don't they? Caffeine free Rubios blend infused with lavender and lime to send you off to the dreamy night skies. Um, use code, oh, code authentic for £5 off your first box. So these are obviously like a little sample size. Dwell on the beauty of life, watch the stars and yourself running with them. Marcus Aurelius. Is Marcus Aurelius the guy that was in Gladiator? Um, spending just 10 minutes a day in nature can reduce your stress and increase mental well-being and I totally agree with that so um, that was the last thing so you can see all the, like, the different like, leaves and stuff in here I'm going to take a photo with all of these I need to think of um, something creative to do and then we'll make some tea do you want some of that tea? try that tea now. Your beard stuff, you're gonna have beard stuff, okay. Well, we can drink tea while I'm doing your beard. Really wiggly ones. I keep all these, um, I send the boxes back um, to be reused, and then I'm actually keeping all the wiggly worms because potentially I've got an exciting project coming up um, where I'm getting a little bit more crafty, but um, more about that if that actually develops into anything. Can't say it's the best photo I've ever taken, but it does the job. I've taken individual photos this time as well. Done! doing a flop as usual all right it smells really really sweet mm. does it actually taste as sweet as it smells 
that's nice. Right, um, I've just sat up here, um, trimmed Nathan's beard, that's all done. What's the matter? You don't know what's going on, do you? With all the... I keep moving around, it's like, sit down. What's going on? Gets nervous when we walk around too much. Come here. He's a good boy, he's a good boy. Where are we going today? We need to pack a bag for you. So we do, we need to get your food ready and the long lead. And bye. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, so yeah, um, I've done the beard. Just need to pack a bag for Max to go to Mum's. We need to pack a bag, although I'm sort of wearing what I wear tonight, although I'm now covered in hair. Um, yes, yeah, so we need to pack a bag and then we can have some lunch and go. I have no idea what we're going to have for lunch because we haven't really got any food in. Oh, thanks, Max. Thank you. Right. I'm going to drink tea. Oh, it's so soft. I need to make a decision on whether I'm going to dye my hair or not. I need to make a decision now because I want my mum to do it because it'll be a lot easier. It's got so long now. I think I'll probably need about three packs. I could go to the salon and have it done, um, but that's rather expensive. And um, I don't know whether I want a permanent colour on it yet or not, or whether I'm just going to put a temporary one and just let it keep growing out. But Right, should we get your bag sorted? I'm ready. I'm sort of half packed it down there. The blue bag. Oh. Again? Oh, thank you. Anyway, stop procrastinating, Chloe. What's the matter? Do I have a treat over here? <laughs> anyway, I came on to say, um, we're going to try some of this um, calming spot on. Um, we've literally tried every dog calming um, product on the market. And spent a lot of money on it too, but um, apparently this is quite good. So we will try it, um, if only to rule it out. It's meant to last three weeks, I think. Um, but we've waited to use it till this weekend, <laughs> knowing that he's probably going to be a bit anxious this weekend. So. What are you doing? He wants his suspicious. He wants He's suspicious. Right, let's put this on, and you can have your treat after you put this on. All right. Good boy. Well, I put it on him, but it's just made made him very wet behind the ears. So we'll see if it does anything. Mm. Here you go. Oh, jeez. Oh, sit. Good boy. Such a good boy. Here we go. Oh, how smart do you look? Hey, how smart do you look? Fairly does. Are you all ready to go? Are you all ready to go? Are you? We got him this little bandana so if you want me on walks people know that he's a bit nervous. And it has actually worked. So um, yeah, people have been a bit more mindful. Or not. Or not. <laughs> right. have just been scared of him. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, he's just shy. We should have one that says shy. Sure. <laughs> You've been scared? What are you being scared for? He used to love to be going in the car and now he's a little bit afraid. Come on. I don't want to go that way. <laughs> Come on. Huh? The red one. I think. Get down the side. Stop being silly. Stop being silly. The tail between the legs. Hello, monster. Where are you going? Hello. 
<laughs> good boy. Yeah, good boy. I haven't got his lead anymore. He's a good boy. Can I put it under him? Yeah. Bye! Nose? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> good boy. Right. He'd, um, he started this thing where in the car he drools. Uh, so we think it's a stress thing. It doesn't seem to be like because of excitement. Ooh, what on earth is that noise? Um, it doesn't, yeah, it seems to be a stress thing. But he didn't do it the first couple of times. But now, um, when we put him in the car, he seems to get stressed straight away. So we're giving him some ginger biscuits because apparently that's going to help um, if it's like a sickness thing. But, um,. Yeah, well, he just settles down in the car, though, so it's not like um, he's really bad in it. Sorry, the car's just tired. I'm waiting for him to pull up. Um, yeah, he settles down really well, so that lays down, and Robbie won't even do that. Mum's dog does that, no. Let's go! Settle down, Max! Oh, oh, bump, bump. Definitely a little bit more anxious today. Normally he sits down and lays down straight away now. But hopefully he will. We're here, Max. Wait, stay. You've been dribbling. Though. You can come and see your friends. Good boy. Good boy. Come on then, let's go find your friends. Come on then. I'm gonna grab the flowers. Come on then. Let the doors open for you. It's gone already. Oh, hello, Max. Hello. Hello, Max. Max. Hello. Hello. The boys are oblivious. Hello, Dad. Literally. Good boy. Ah, stuck on my foot. Oh, Robbie. Oh, Robbie. What's going on, mate? That's all right. We can do it. Hello, Robbie. Hello. Don't ignore each other. Right, let me then do this. Is the door shut, Nathan? That's right. Morning, oh, Anna. The battery's about to die. You look very tired. Even though you've slept more than we've ever slept. Why don't you sleep very well? Why don't you sleep very well? Hello, Ruby. I need to change the battery. I need to put the battery. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. Max! Max! It's the next day, we're at Mum's. And um, I totally forgot to take the camera out when we went to our friends yesterday um, and didn't get it out much. But, um, yeah, I'll explain a bit more how, how Max is done when we um, when we leave Mum. We're just going to have some breakfast and then we're going to go home, but we're leaving Max here. So, what are you doing, troublemaker? This is all very exciting, isn't it, okay? Hey? Yeah, it's all very Right, I need to go replace this button. Which way do you think they went? Right. Right, left yesterday, though. She? There she is. Yeah. Oh. See him? Yeah. Oh, couldn't on the camera. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we escaped mums. 
Okay. Um, it's now Sunday. We didn't. I didn't record much yesterday, but um, I forgot to take the camera um, with us when we went to our friends. Anyway, but um, Max has been okay at Mum's, and he hasn't been okay. So he's been a bit of a pain. He whined most of the time we were out, um, but he did eventually settle, and he? he was uh, fine overnight. Um, we slept in our room. <laughs> And then we've left him again there this morning. So mum's just taken him out for a walk because he went out with a, with a walk from, with mum and Robbie, fine. Um, and he's just left us in the house and gone off for a walk. But um, I think it'll be when they get back, he'll start to whine. But at least he's had a bit of exercise and he's, yeah, fine walking off with mum and, and Robbie. But um, yeah, we're now off back off to Norwich to then go to um, birthday celebration for Nathan's nanny. And then we'll come back and pick him up a bit later. So. I'm gonna go home first to get changed because I'm still wearing um, outfit from yesterday. But um, yeah, um, I also dyed my hair yesterday, which I was gonna film, but uh, Mum did it for me, so I'm now all one colour again. So it started to grow out and it was getting to about here. It was in photos, I could really notice it. Um, but yeah, I've just gone just brown, but um, it's got that home hair dye smell, so that's all I keep smelling. Um, but yeah, so oh my gosh, it's a bumpy road. Yeah. <laughs> That's my car. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so um, if I'm not sick on the way home, then um, I'll speak to you later. Okay, we're now home. And it's really weird without, I'll say Robbie then, Max. There's Max here. Um, it's actually quite sad. I thought I'd quite enjoy it for a bit, but I'm a little bit sad about it. Um, but yeah, I'm ready. I've got a new dress on, although my bra's showing. Um, from I bought it from Sainsbury's quite a while ago actually. First thing, yeah, I think it was last month because I'm doing a no spend September, no buy September. Um, and um, yeah, I haven't bought anything new in ages, but because the charity shops haven't been open or I haven't been wanting to like, go out to them yet, um, I, I saw this in Sainsbury's, I think it was in the sale, so I did pick that up. And it's the first thing new I've bought in this year I just don't I don't close shop anyway but um, I do tend to get my stuff either off eBay or in charity shops now because unless it's like jeans where I need a specific size otherwise that's not comfortable for me I don't really buy much so yeah um, I quite like this so I've chosen that today it's a really nice day the garden needs sorting out ready for autumn but that might have to be next weekend's job because we're too busy. Um, my shoes, I've got the um, these, what are they called? Birkenstocks. And I bought these for my birth, no, there's my Christmas voucher from my granddad, Christmas voucher from my granddad, but I spent them around my birthday time. Um, it's the third time I've worn them, because again, we've just not been out, so I just, I use my croc flip flops because they're the comfiest thing ever. Um, but they make a really, like, fart sound <laughs> when I walk. So, I must just have the wrong shaped feet and they, it's this right right foot, so it goes pops. But anyway, apart from that, they're really, really nice. So I thought actually on a special occasion today, I would wear them. And um, but yeah, I'm just waiting for Nathan to get ready. And then we're gonna head over to his mum's, so. Um, yeah, that's about it really. It's really, probably one of my, oh, there's lighting in here. That's spot coming up as well. Um, Probably one of the most boring vlogs ever because we've we've done quite a lot, but I've just not wanted to vlog it. Or we've been around other people, so I've not wanted to vlog. So I'm not going to vlog anything while we're at um, Nathan's mum's either. So yeah, and we'll go and pick up Max a bit later. I think we're going to go pick him up rather than mum drop him off. So a lot of driving around, but it's been a nice weekend. I'm exhausted. We're now home. Got picked up, Max. Um, and he was absolutely fine today, so mum said he's been really good, has hardly whined, didn't wee in the house like he'd done yesterday. Um, yeah, so we just got home, he's now eating his tea. Um, he's still having issues in the car, he like drools, um, I think it's because of anxiety or car sickness, but he didn't have it to start with. Hello? You had your dinner? Was he yummy? No. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, so um, we've um, had a lot of food today and we've brought some leftovers home, we've got some cake, so I don't think we're going to have any tea. And then, um, yeah, just 
to have a chilled out evening. The time is, I tried to not get back too late, but it's six o'clock, so we've got a few hours, so we're just gonna probably play some games. And, um, <laughs> and um, sleep. We're both knackered, right. actually, aren't we? We are. No. Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> Weird, you can see yourself. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> um, yeah, we didn't sleep very well last night, but I think that's because Max was. He didn't keep getting up, but he, every time he moved, he lifted his head and you heard it, and then you wanted to wait until he heard him go back to sleep. But, yeah. What's that ear about? Boop. Oh, Boop. Boop. I think somebody's tired after their adventures weekend. All is restored in the house. Someone got a spare plate over there, please. Nathan's on cod. Max is asleep. And I'm watching YouTube videos. He just stuck his tongue out at me. Hmm? I said he just stuck his tongue out <laughs> at me. <laughs> I think it might be cup of tea time in a little while though. And we've got some cake. Um, Come on, you got any, uh, Nanny's right? birthday, um, Nathan's Nanny's birthday um, meal, so we're all going to have that with some cake in a minute, I think. Good. Watching Cherry Wallace open an Accio box. Hello, friends. Oh, anybody else addicted to um, subscription boxes, especially when they're Harry Potter themed? So. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, okay, I'll come with you then. I'll come with you. Bye. mum for this yummy cake. Nom nom nom. Although I don't, I'm not sure we can eat the jelly sweets because I think they're um, not vegetarian. The rest of it is. So we're going to have coffee and cake and then go to bed I think so. And then I've got work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. Um, but hopefully I'll get to vlog again next week oh, and, right, and right. it will be a little bit more exciting. Um, obviously as I said we had quite a busy weekend but I didn't film most of it because it was around other people's. But um, we're hoping to do bit more in the garden if it's a nice weekend next weekend and stay at home and just have a, have a bit of a chores weekend but um, I might start the vlog early because I've got Thursday and Friday off as well but we'll see but anyway bye for now